हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक तो फ्रेंड्स अभी की वीडियो है अचानक आधी रात इजिप्ट देश में मौलाना ने ऐसा जयशंकर से पूछा सवाल मिला करारा जवाब सब हैरान हाँ ये तो हमने देखा था है मैंने तो नहीं तो वो तो नहीं वो जयशंकर जी से जो बोल रहे थे कि आप जो हैं बहुत ही मतलब सीरियस टाइप के हैं वो है एग्रेसिव टाइप के डिप्लोमेट है वो तो नहीं है। देखते हैं देखते हैं चलो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बटन और बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें और हमारे दूसरे दो चैनल्स हैं उनको भी सब्सक्राइब कर लेना उनके लिंक्स हैं डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में क्योंकि आपके कई रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोज उन चैनल में भी जा रहे हैं अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद है प्लीज लेकिन शेयर चलिए शुरू करते हैं क्या हुआ है Uh, thank you sir may i throw one uh, question which i know i expect would be answered like you normally do very clearly and in great for uh, you know with great forthrightness so in view of the multi polar world which is evolving do you feel that the non aligned movement is relevant to the world now or not uh, you know it's something which uh, minister shukri and i discussed today and we spoke about it at a press conference also look the there is such a thing as a non aligned uh, group you know formally there are countries who are members of it they meet there's a chairman there's, there's a structure which goes on but the fact is it is a it was a group which started in a very different era it had a context today uh, without in any way diminishing it i would say it's necessary for independent minded countries to actually speak their mind mm. to seek to shape and influence the direction in which the world is going because That the is world India. is getting very polarized uh, mm. and it's it's a double polarization you know it's a east west polarization mm. but it is also a north south polarization that you know the more the richer countries the more developed countries they are not fully grasping really? how much the poorer countries are being hurt by what is happening in the world so it is it, it i mean it's a, it's a very today it's a very stressful it's a very unhappy world today i mean yes. countries are struggling and in this those who have the confidence the experience the capability to speak out it's important that they do that they don't uh, go with the Flow. with the tide uh, mm -hmm. so to speak and to ensure that you know i i think voices of reason of sanity of sobriety uh, are needed uh, at this point of time uh, and uh, certainly uh, i see india as such a voice uh, and uh, to the extent there are other countries with a similar bent of mind and who who also would like to, to speak. Uh, you we know, need to speak. think and act in a similar manner. I think it will be a very good thing. Thank you very much. We are going to know tonight. We are also here, and it is relevant. Yeah. Mr. Ashish Walia. Thank you very much. Good evening, His Excellency. Good evening to all. My name is Ashish Walia, and I'm wearing two hats tonight. One is that uh, as a chairman of Indian Community Association, and second as an Indian uh, businessman in Egypt. Sir, I came to Egypt in 2006 as a representative for an Indian company called Larsen Tubro, and thereafter I seized an opportunity to become an entrepreneur. I started my own manufacturing. and today i run a manufacturing business between india and egypt mm -hmm. and exporting to europe and africa that is about me and sir you are a career diplomat you had been a great i was yes you were a career diplomat you were a great ambassador of india to several very important nations of our country You were a legendary foreign secretary. Are you Muslim? Ka? And today you are making Wadiya. all of us proud Muslim by Wadiya. being very assertive and presenting a new image of India, which is a very assertive Wadiya. and strong Wadiya. image Wadiya. of Wadiya. India. So my first part of the question is: What is your message 
for global Indian professionals. That will be my first. The second one, which is linked to it, sir. Two weeks ago, you were in US. From there, you traveled to Australia and then New Zealand. And in between, you did Gujarat and today you are here. <laughs> Such a hectic schedule. If I have to travel from here to Canada, <laughs> I start preparing <laughs> weeks ago. And I take like a couple of days to recover from that. Example. How do you manage that? What is the secret, what is the mantra of your physical fitness, <laughs> which we all can learn from you? So these are my two questions. The first one for the global Indian like professional and Modiji. second for physical fitness, sir. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> What can I say? Uh, look, you know, honestly, it's not, uh, I, I don't think I'm being assertive. Uh, boy, tha, what hey, often tha. happens, when when you, very, very honestly, video, you, is, you end up hai. in situations where others try to pressurize you or push you or, you know, uh, uh, in a sense, uh, uh, leave you with no choice but to express your views mm. uh, with, a, with a certain degree of uh, um, Bluntness. forcefulness. Bluntness. Uh, I still believe that at the end of the day it's important to explain yourself. Uh, uh, you know, that's my business to reason with people, to negotiate with people. But if at times, you know, there's a lack of fairness in which your position is portrayed. Mm. I don't think we should let that pass. You know, we're not doing justice to ourselves if you do that. So I know sometimes it ends up in a certain way. Uh, that's really not me. Uh, it's, the, it's the context, you can say. Uh, but uh, as, a, as a country, uh, it, is, it is important for us to be, uh, to be uh, clear in the projection of our interests, uh, to be uh, to be articulate in explaining why we are doing or you know uh, taking the positions that we are doing, uh, and uh, uh, I would hope to do it in as congenial and harmonious a manner as the situation uh, would permit. Uh, on the uh, <laughs> on the travel, you know, look you. You end up sometimes doing these things, uh, and uh, I'm sure I would feel tired if I had a chance to catch my breath. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but, uh, you know, the pace of life mm -hmm. keeps you keeps you uh, going. Uh, so maybe maybe if you slow down, you you will feel it. Mm -hmm. So far, that you know that has not happened. Uh, but uh, you know. I keep okay. fingers uh, crossed. I, I think if you are generally at peace with yourself mm. and you have, you know, good colleagues to work with uh, mm. uh, and if you have a, you know, I would say uh, some, um, something which, which drives your, uh, you know, a sense of mission, you can say. Yeah. I think it, it keeps you going. You know. Yeah, well said. Thank you, sir. My best wishes for you. Thank you, sir, and thank you, everyone, for this fruitful interaction. Yar, maza hi aa gaya. Vaise news suno, wo alag baat hai. But when you listen ki jo jiske baare mein wo news hai, bola exactly kya tha wordings unke muh se suno, that is totally different. Isse pata lagta hai ki basically wo bol rahe hain, bahut hi achhe tarike se, bahut hi nicely. Log usko news bana rahe hain. कहीं 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 वो ऐसे वर्ड्स यूज कर देते हैं कई न्यूज जो भी रेली मैं बता रहा हूँ मीडिया ही कर रहा है मीडिया क्या कर रहा है जो मिर्च मसाला जो भी रेगुलर बातचीत हो रही है उस रेगुलर बातचीत में से कुछ लेके उसका मिर्च मसाला लगा के पूरे मीडिया में डाल रहे हैं हमें लगा पता नहीं किसने इतना अग्रेसिव कर दिया कि आपके माइंड में ऐसा आएगा कि कोई अटैक मतलब बोलने वाला आ गया बहुत खडूस उसे बोल दे तो मुझे वही लगा था कोई बहुत खडूस है तुम्हें जाते हो होगा उसने ये ऐसा था ही बहुत ही प्यार से और अच्छी तरह हंसते हुए बात हुई है मतलब जो है एक इंडियन इजिप्शियन है या इंडियन एनआरआई कह लीजिए इंडियन इजिप्शियन मुझे पता नहीं उनका क्या है मुझे लगा था किसी 
फॉरन फोरन ने वहां फॉरनर ने वहां पे पूछा है मतलब से कुछ इंडियन आप ये कह सकते हैं इंडियन ओरिजिन के भाई साहब है इजिप्ट में हाँ। वो बड़े प्यार से उनको हाँ। पूछ बोल रहे हैं कि आप इतने एजर्टिव हैं हाँ। इतने ग्रेट हैं तो बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा है और अपना जाते हैं आपकी हेल्थ सीक्रेट क्या है वो बड़े प्यार से अप्रिशिएट करते हुए इस बात को पूछ रहा है और वो भी बहुत प्यार से बता रहे हैं कि एजर्शन वाली बात नहीं है जहाँ बोलना है बोलना पड़ता है जिस तरीके से लोग मुझसे पूछते हैं तो मेरे को फोर्सफुली उनको बोलना पड़ता है तो उन्होंने ये बोला जिस तरीके से जिस तरीके से लोग पूछते हैं तो उनको फोर्सफुली बोलना पड़ता है और गॉड है मतलब पैशन है आपका मिशन है तो मिशन करते जा रहे हैं आपको भी टाइम नहीं मिला सोचने के लिए आप थक रहे हैं नहीं थक रहे वो जब पेस कम होएगी तब रिलाइज होगा रिलाइज होगी भैया मैं रेस्ट की जरूरत मगर पॉइंट ये था कि अगर ये कॉम्बिनेशन देखे तो बहुत ही पॉजिटिव Conversation. ऐसा दिखाएंगे जैसे पत्ता नहीं क्या हो गया क्या नहीं हो गया पर एनी वे दिस वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग की जयशंकर जी ने इतना अच्छे मतलब ही इज He really gives fantastic answers to situations or questions जो उनके ऊपर उनको से पूछे जाते हैं because he is not prepared. So मैं तो कहूँगी a very good selection and very good position that he's been given and he's doing a marvelous job. तो चलो friends चलते हैं मिलेंगे next video में बहुत ही जल्द till then take care and bye bye. तो अगर आप मेरे इस channel पे नए हो तो जल्दी से subscribe के button को hit करो और bell icon को click करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया video में लगाऊँ आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी से पता चल जाए